Thanks for joining us at TRMR. As you know, TRMR is dedicated to helping the new player and the average player become better players. Haven't put out a video in a while, so I thought, why not put out a video on carom shots? If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that like icon. Don't forget to hit the bell notification uh, button as well, so that way you can be notified of new videos that are coming out. So without further ado, let's get to carom shots. So a carom shot is basically having the cue ball glance off one of your balls to make a ball that's close to the pocket. So here's how aim through the center of the ball that you want to make. Then aim through the center of the ball that you're going to glance off. And where they cross, that's what you want to aim for. And you aim through the glancing ball to that point. And you should make it. Here, if you do it again, the same aiming technique applies. First find where you're going to hit the ball, go through the center of the glancing ball, then aim through the glancing ball to that point. And with a medium stroke, you should hit the ball that you intend to pocket. With enough practice, you should be able to do this in your head. Instead of putting the stick down like I'm doing here, it'll become automatic if you do it enough times. Of course, practice makes perfect. As you get better, move the balls further apart so you can dial in your aiming. In this situation, you can use a carom shot to win a game of nine ball. Here's another example of the same shot except on the other side. Now in this example, you can actually use the five ball to carry them off of another ball to sink the nine ball using the same aiming technique. And this is another example except on the other side. In this example, you have the five ball tied up with a six. The seven is in the pocket. You can carom off the five ball to free up the five ball and also continue your run by pocketing the seven ball. Once you got this aiming technique down, you can pretty much hit any ball anywhere on the table. In this situation, the five ball doesn't have a definite pocket, but the nine ball is in the jaws. And let's just say you're playing a game of APA and you only need two more points. Game over. 
As you can see, the carom shot can help you out in many different situations. I hope this video has been helpful. In the comments below, let me know if you've ever done an accidental carom shot or if this technique actually helps you. I would like to know how this helps you in your game. And as always, thank you very much for watching TRMR. Thank you for all the support. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to join us on every Thursday, 7 p.m. on In The Rack.